Hey, this is Kez from Spider WordPress. We're going through and setting up a completely custom theme using the point and click controls of the website weaver. Uh, so far, we've already set up the background image, the background color, we've set up the header, the logo, the site title, and the tagline colors and fonts, and the RSS icon. And in this next step, we're going to set up the menus. So you can see here that there is space for two menus. You have a main menu and a second menu. Both of these are controlled through the WordPress custom menu function. So anything that you want to add to your menu, you can you can just go ahead and use the custom menu uh, process. So you can just add raw links, you can add your pages, links to categories, anything that you want. So what we need to do now is get the colors set up so that they work nicely with the the way we've got the theme set up so far. So what I want to do is base the the color of the the menu on this background color here. So I'm using Colorzilla to grab a sample of that background color and we'll use that as a base and then just adjust it a little bit. So if I set that there as a temporary color, I can use this uh, comparison, these two comparison windows here to adjust the, the colors just a little bit and we have a comparison side by side so we can see how they're going to look. So I just want to change the, the shade a little bit. save those changes and now you can see that the menu works nicely with the color scheme of the overall theme and I also I actually don't want to have a, a second menu on on the theme for now so for the time being because I don't have anything I want to add to this menu I'm just going to hide this second menu here. You can always switch it back on later, but for the time being I'm just going to set all the show settings to hide and then save everything that I've, I've changed so far with the menu. Okay, so now we've uh, got everything looking the way we want to in the preview here. Now we're going to update the actual theme. back to the front end we can have a look at the changing so you can see the second menu disappeared there and the first menu now has the the nice blue color to go with the rest of the theme all right in the next section we'll move on to customizing the actual content area and the site pages